Hey guys, I'm Joel Justice Center. I'm Andrew Serres. Normally, I would be sitting right there with you guys in juvie, but unfortunately, because of the virus, we're not able to see you in person. But I was able to send you guys a video, so I wanted to do chapel in a video. Today, we're going to be talking about uh, a scripture in Matthew. We're going to do some worship, and I'm also going to pray with you guys. So let's go ahead, and I'm going to read to you guys first the scripture I wanted to share. One day, Jesus told his disciples a story that they should always pray and never give up. There was a judge in a certain city, he said, who neither feared God nor cared about people. A widow of that city came to him repeatedly, saying, Give me justice in this dispute with my enemy. The judge ignored her for a while. But finally he said to, to himself, I don't fear God or care about people, but this woman is driving me crazy. I'm going to see that she gets justice because she is wearing me out with her consistent requests. Then the Lord said, learn a lesson from this unjust judge when he rendered a just decision in the end. So don't think that God will surely give justice to his chosen people who cry out day and night Will he keep putting them off? I tell you, he will grant justice to them quickly. But when the Son of Man returns, how many more will he find on earth who have faith? In this scripture, Jesus does something in this parable. A parable is a story that Jesus tells something so people get it. Instead of just telling you, sometimes we need stories to remember things. I know I do too. If you tell me a story, I might remember. You tell me a math problem, I probably won't remember. So that's why Jesus used stories to tell people what's going on. It's interesting to know that this woman keeps going to this judge day in and day out, asking for justice, seeking justice. She doesn't stop. And you guys, God's the same way, that he doesn't ignore us, but he wants us to keep coming back to him day in and day out because he cares about us and he wants to know us and he wants to make sure that we're legit about what we're doing. So if we pray like, dear Jesus, please help me, amen. And then I go on doing like my addictions it really doesn't change how God sees us. He wants you to be authentic. Now, here's some things I want you to think about. Is that it takes time and it takes time in your heart too. Uh, back in the day when I was a beginner of guitar, years ago, it was like 16, my parents bought me a Fender electric guitar and I was all stoked about it. Except I never practiced. They even bought me guitar lessons. And guess what? I never practiced. I never got better. And the guitar sat in my room, collected dust, and my dreams of being a rock guitarist went away. One summer though, I ended up working at a summer camp as a canoe lifeguard. And this summer camp, for some reason, no one wanted to do canoes that year. So I ended up getting an acoustic guitar. And just out of sheer boredom, I spent time playing the guitar for two to three hours a day. And I'll guess what? At the end of that summer, I actually learned to be a guitarist and I loved it. Guitar became my escape from stress. It became something to do healthy with stress instead of addictions. Funny that summer I was in, introduced to many un good things addictions wise. So I want to tell you guys that God doesn't just give us a way out. He gives us a way to change our life. Just like the story of me and my guitar. Just like the woman who constantly goes to the judge, if we're faithful to say, God, I want to make this change in my life, God won't just give us justice. He'll give us new life. Guys, I'm going to play some music in just a minute, but let's pray because I want you to know that God cares about you and he wants to change. You just have to want it too. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, please be with everyone here in Juvie. God, I just ask that you would speak to them just as you spoke to me and continue to speak to me. Be with us today in your name. Amen. It's, again, we're going to have some musical worship. And just like I was, if I was in Juvia right now, I ask you guys not to side talk or have other conversations, but either sing the songs, I'll have the words up on the screen, or to just think about what God's speaking to you right now, talking about living a life that is seeking something so badly, like the woman in the, in the story Jesus wrote, or, or learning to play guitar, like my personal story. I just want you guys to focus on that God wants you. He wants you to live a life that's open and full of full of hope. And so we're going to sing, sing this first song. It's called Reckless Love. Um, again, you're going to see the words on the screen, and we're just going to spend some time listening and worshiping God. So... <laughs> I 
spoke a word when you were singing over me. You have been so, so good to me. Before I took a breath, you breathed your life in me. Hey guys, have a great week. God be with you. I'm praying for you. I hope that you're having a hope-filled evening. And just know that someday soon I will see you guys hopefully in Juvie. And if not, I'd love to see you on the outs. God bless.